What is going on my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and today my fellow agents I am bringing you a very quick update in regard to Year 5 Season 3 Vanguard which starts tomorrow as we just finished the special report and this is easily one of the biggest updates we have ever seen in the game especially when it comes to infrastructure. However I want to start this thing off for those of you that may have missed it by showing you the trailer for Year 5 Season 3. Trust Kelso. I don't believe she could be a hunter. But trust has to be earned. When we put it in the wrong people. Just look at what's happened to this country. Agents were trained to blend in. To hide in plain sight. How can we know their true mission? We can't survive without trust. I trust Kelso. But I've been wrong before. Now we also learned this morning that how a season plays out is actually going to change as well. As most of you know, with the previous seasons, we had to go after search and rescue targets and now moving forward. We are now going to be sent to certain areas of the map in New York to look for clues to find Kelso. You can see civic centers on February 6th, which is tomorrow. We have two bridges on March 5th, the financial district on April 2nd, then Battery Park, April 30th. There will also be two apparel events this season. We have a new one, Veiled Tactics, that is going to start on February 20th. That's right around the corner. And then later in the year, on April 16th, we have Last Resort, which is a repeat of a previous apparel event. And if you want to see the details, I will leave a link to that in the video description down below. Now, as I said previously, and most of you know this, there are going to be some major infrastructure changes with Project Resolve Title Update 20 starting tomorrow. Obviously, there is a brand new tinkering system. I'm going to walk you through the entire thing once that goes live. And we also know that one of the big ticket items with this update is the fact that you will be able to reconfigure that third attribute on any single exotic weapon in the game. Many agents out there are really looking forward to doing that. I am receiving all your questions and I will put together a dedicated video on exactly how that works my friends and as always if you have any other questions, comments, or feedback please let me know and I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Last but not least today I want to talk about Descent and we know that the new exotic rifle the Vindicator is going to be exclusively in in that game mode that is the only way you are going to be able to get it and I know for many of you out there you've never really had the desire to play that game mode because of the reward system now to be clear that is being improved as well but a lot of you want to be able to get that new exotic rifle now I can pretty much guarantee you that there are going to be so many people actually jumping into this game mode just to get this rifle I think matchmaking is going to be greatly improved I know I'll definitely be jumping in and I hope to see you there as well with all that being said, I'm going to start to wrap this up. I just wanted to bring you a recap really quick. Now, because there are so many changes we are going to see with Year 5 Season 3, I will be bringing you multiple standalone videos talking about all of the different changes once everything goes live. I want to wait until I can actually show you an example. That is going to do it for this thing, my friends. I sincerely appreciate the privilege of your time, and as I mention at the end of every one of these, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well, but most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.